Hello, this is Christopher Larson with Formosa Interactive on behalf of Dolby Laboratories. This is going to be a three-part series of how to get a Dolby Atmos bitstream outputting from a game audio development tool such as WISE from uh, Audio Kinetic on a Windows 10 PC uh, to your AVR via HDMI. So we need to start off with a couple of prerequisites. Uh, first is you do need to have uh, Windows 10 and it needs to be the creator's update which is build 1703 or later. Uh, you also need to make sure that you have an audio device that has an HDMI output and that it's connected to an AVR that does support Dolby Atmos. So we're going to go into the assumption that this is the case and we will just jump right in to this uh, very easy uh, tutorial which is essentially just bringing up the Windows Store and doing a search for Dolby Access and it pops up right there and you just hit the install button it will download and uh, do the installation and then we will go into the configuration. Hit launch. And for our purposes, we're going to be uh, outputting uh, Dolby Atmos uh, to be heard on a home theater system. And this is how you will get uh, the Dolby Atmos bitstream uh, going from your PC to your Dolby Atmos enabled AVR. So if you uh, do need some help, there are uh, very uh, plain instructions to follow here on this. Uh, we're just going to hit continue. And what this is going to do, this is going to open up the uh, properties for your audio device. And uh, in this instance, um, you see that uh, we are connected to a Marantz AVR, and uh, this is over HDMI. And we have this new tab that says spatial sound and you simply select the uh, output you want and in this case we're going to do Dolby Atmos for home theater. Apply OK and uh, you are essentially done. You could set up uh, headphones but uh, that's not within the scope of this uh, tutorial. Uh, in case you um, need to turn off spatial sound or if you uh, are having some difficulties all you need to do is right click on your uh, audio device and you will see that there is a spatial sound option and if you click on it once again it just brings up that properties. If you don't see the spatial sound tab or if you do not see the Dolby Atmos for home theater as an option in this drop down there could be a couple of issues uh, that you may want to look into. First is uh, make sure that you are running the latest version of uh, Windows 10 Creators Update. Uh, and then the other possible thing is that you may be looking at the wrong audio device. You will not see the Dolby Atmos for home theater option available unless you do have an HDMI connection from your PC to a Dolby Atmos enabled AVR. And this is the properties window for that device. So now that you're all set up, we're ready to move on to the next episodes. Thanks for watching, and uh, in order to catch the next episodes, please subscribe to this channel or visit developer.dolby.com. Thanks.